Are you looking to strum some chords and find a tutorial that has some makey makey guitar instructions from scratch? Well stick around because in this Makey Makey Basics tutorial we'll make a cardboard guitar ukulele. Then we'll jump over to a website for some song inspiration, we'll check out the notes of those songs and then link them to notes in Scratch. All this coming your way. Hello world, Surfing Scratcher here, I teach a surfer programmer bringing you the goodness of learning to code through video tutorials. If you're new around these parts, then consider hitting that subscribe button to stay in the loop. I've also got a link to the mailing so that you can find it in the description below. Go check that out for news and resources. All right, here's what you're gonna need for this tutorial. A makey makey, some alligator clips, some cardboard, scissors, and some conductive materials. I've got all these available on a kit on kit.com where you can pick and choose. But hey, let's rock out this guitar. The first thing that you'll want to do is get your piece of cardboard, maybe create an outline and then cut out around it so you've got a guitar. I recently purchased the ukulele, so I'm going to use the uke that is on that cardboard box. So now that I have my cardboard cut out of my guitar or ukulele, what I'm going to do is get my conductive materials. I'm going to get four paper clips to fasten to the neck of the guitar, and I'm going to get a piece of copper tape here that I'm going to stick to the base of the guitar where I'm going to hold it. This piece of copper tape is going to act as the ground and I'm going to complete the circuit when I touch the paper clips up on the neck. Okay, so you see here I've just got the copper tape and I've stuck it to the front and the back side of our cardboard. So you see here I've got each of the paper clips fastened to the neck of the guitar. I space them so it's really comfortable for my four fingers to be touching them because when I hold the guitar, um, I'm going to use each finger to touch a paper clip. On the back, you'll see that this is where we're going to hide our alligator cables and we'll run that all the way up to the Makey Makey and we'll have that living behind the guitar. Okay, so I'm just using a bit of blue tack to stick the Makey Makey to the back of the cardboard here of the guitar. We're going to attach the alligator cables to the arrows. Now because we've got the Makey Makey flipped around, these arrows are actually the opposite. So this one here, although it looks left, is actually the right arrow and this one here will be the left arrow. So just consider that one, that might get you. Okay, so you'll see here that I've wired up the Makey Makey. I've got all of our colored alligator clips here attached to the arrows and I've connected the black cable to the ground and the copper tape. So this is the end that my right hand will be holding and my left hand or my left fingertips will be touching all of the keys. The next thing we need to do is plug in our Makey Makey to our computer, open up Scratch and hook this up to some code blocks. All right, so before we get our hands busy in Scratch, we need a song to play. And the song I've chosen is Riptide by Vance Joy. That was a cracker a couple of years ago. So I've just Googled some ukulele tabs. You can also do the same for some guitar tabs. Head over to Ultimate Guitar or ukuleletabs.com. Here it'll tell you what chords that we need to play. So there's an A minor, a G major, a C major, and an F major for this particular song. Once you know the chords, then we need to figure out which notes are in the chords. To do that, if you're a bit unsure about music, just head on over to Google and just Google A minor chord notes or whatever chord that you're looking for. And it should tell you the notes in the chord. Record down all the notes for the chords that you'll need for your song and then we're ready to go. Now we're back over in Scratch. The first thing I want you to do is head on over to the extensions and go grab the music extension because we will need it. This next step might seem a little bit excessive, but it's going to make our life a whole lot easier going forward. I want you to jump into the stage sprite here, or just the stage, and in the code blocks. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to create the individual notes as events. So what on earth does that mean? Go out and grab a when I receive block. And we're going to create a new message here. Now I know in Riptide for the A minor chord, there is an A note, a C note, and an E note. So I'm going to receive a message A, and I'm going to associate the note A with that event. So if we go into our notes here, and we want to make sure that we are set to guitar. Let's press that to make sure that we are. And we need to go ahead and get the note out that we want. So if we click on this parameter here, play note, we know that we're on the 60 here. So we need to navigate to the A note. Now I know the A note is just here, and now we are on A. So whenever we fire the event A, this will play. Now I'm going to do the same for the other two notes in A minor, and that's for a C and an E. There we go, I've got the C, the E, and the C that is an octave higher as well. So I've jumped over into the up chord, so we're going to associate an up button press, so drag out the hat block when the up arrow is pressed. We want to play this A minor chord we can go ahead and broadcast the notes that were in the A minor chord. So that was A, that was C, and that was E. 
We can also put in the C that was an octave higher. So now when I tap this block, we should get A chord. Beautiful. So we know we've got an A minor chord here, but it's not very clear. So I think what we should do is create another event and let's call this one A minor. So I'm just gonna put an A there and then lowercase m to signify the minor. And an A minor is just going to be this business over here. Now, when we get an up arrow press, let's just play the A minor chord. All right, so back here on our guitar, we've got the copper tape and we've got our white arrow key synced up. So that's just signified here by the white alligator cable. So if we go ahead and touch the ground of the copper and then I touch the paper clip of the white cable, we should get our chord. Boom. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is create all the other notes that I need. So that is a G, a B, a D, and an F note. If you're not too sure, you could just go in and create events for every single note that you see here, including the sharps. Here we go, so I just created the notes and the events for the G note, the B note, the D note, and the F note. If you're doing a different song, you'll need to do it differently. Let's now take these last three chords and associate them with our button presses on our Makey Makey and cardboard guitar. First up, let's associate G major with our down chord. So we need G, B, and D. Drag out the hat block when a key is pressed. Just gonna zoom in a little bit. We want the down key and we want to broadcast the G note, the B note, and the D note. Now we know this is G major. We can package this up into another event that is G major. So let's go G major. And let's grab those blocks, stick them there. And then we can just broadcast G major on a down arrow. I've just associated our C major chord with the left button press on the makey makey. Can you see that it's a whole heap easier just looking at the names of notes rather than the music extension stack blocks? And I've just associated the right button press with our F major chord. So that's the notes F, A, and C. Let's jump back over to our cardboard guitar and hear all these chords in action. All right, so here we are back over to our cardboard guitar. My left hand here is touching the copper ground. Remember that's connected to the Makey Makey that is behind the cardboard here. And we've got all of our notes synced up. So I know that Riptide is an A minor chord, a G major chord, and then two bars of C. So let's go hear that right now. Here's a couple of A minors. Now we need to go to G, and now we need to go two bars of C. There you go, and now you can click and hold these and it sounds pretty cool too. Which is pretty nice. A little ways down the song, we get some Fs as well. So there you have it. That is how you can make a guitar or ukulele and play your favorite songs that you like. So these are just the building blocks of using Makey Makey to construct a guitar. The really cool thing is that this is pretty static, but you could use the arrow keys to cycle through different chord combinations. So you could like have a few songs pre-programmed or make it really dynamic. And then you could have that feedback displayed on the screen, which would be really cool. It's time for a scratchy question. And I wanna know, which song did you decide to make on your Makey Makey guitar? Drop your answer in the comment section below. Hey, thanks for checking out this tutorial on the Makey Makey guitar. Be sure to smash that like button and check out some other content on your screen right now. If you want to show your support for this channel, then sign up to the mail list, head on over to my Patreon page, or check out some of my funky red bubble tees. But until then, I'm off to go find a wave. I'll catch you in the next one.